Let's turn to our one-of-a-kind restaurant analyst, Dave Andelman, because today Dave is going to tell us about some truly one-of-a-kind restaurants, and that's what we like here, Dave. We like places that are just truly and utterly unique, right? Well, look, there's no bigger supporter or customer of restaurants than me, but there can be a sameness to it. You know, it's like, okay, Adam Venateri picture, check, bad frozen <laughs> vegetable medley, check. I mean... <laughs> Come on, restaurants are in the entertainment space these days. Show me something unique and interesting and fun. All right, now here's a place that is extremely unique, to say the least. It's called the Chapel Grill. It's in Cranston, Rhode Island. And you just take a look at this place and you say, whoa, this is a one of a kind. Yeah, actually made from a 100-year-old stone chapel. So it's got a very cool bar downstairs, a lofted dining room upstairs with amazing views. Menu is Mediterranean with a lot of Italian food. Meal starts with tremendous bread with a selection of different olive oils. They've got tasty grilled pizzas, great pasta dishes. Believe it or not, several styles and flavors of mashed potatoes. And I like the hot Italian buns. Now, this is a pretty unusual dish for a nice restaurant. It's basically a mini calzone. They wrap the meatballs inside the focaccia bread, and it's served with marinara sauce and ricotta cheese. Pretty awesome right there. Now, speaking of interesting restaurant architecture, there is a landmark on Route 1 in Linfield. It looks like a landlocked ship, yeah. and it actually is a ship. It's called the Ship Restaurant, but it's a restaurant. Like, you can't actually put this in the ocean. I don't remember our pop, the great Eddie Edelman, ever lying to us about Santa Claus, but he did tell us that the ship right. in a storm came out of the ocean and landed right on Route 1. I remember that. <laughs> it was actually built by a sea captain decades ago, so it's probably one of the more interesting restaurant build-outs in the USA. They've got new ownership and a new chef. As you might imagine, their claim to fame is the seafood, but the chef is Italian, so they do a lot of great pasta dishes. I love their uh, shellfish tower, and the best dish here is the cioppino. This is the ultimate Italian seafood dish made with sautéed lobster, clams, scallops, haddock, mussels, and it's sautéed with white wine and cherry tomatoes. Now, there are plenty of pizza restaurants out there. There are hamburger restaurants out there, but let's talk about one of a kind. A turkey-themed restaurant. <laughs> yeah. We do have one here in New England. Yeah. Hart's Turkey Farm in Meredith, New Hampshire. One of a kind. Dan, I have taken severe heat from our family and Phantom Gourmet fans for my refusal to eat turkey on Thanksgiving. I know, you don't even like turkey. It's because I love this country, and I don't think we should eat a cheap, flavorless meat when we celebrate it. What? But I will eat it at this place because they do it <laughs> so well. Um, they do it every day of the year, Dan, and I mean turkey dinners with fresh roasted turkeys. It's a massive place in the Lakes region. They've been known to fill all 500 seats. They'll do like 2,000 pounds of turkey and 100 pies in a day. They also have turkey soup, turkey nuggets, turkey stir fry. This is just New England at its best, Dan. You know, it's fun and it's charming. When you see that big, beautiful roasted turkey, Dave, and the skin is, is you know, nice and brown and golden and crispy on the outside, and the, the inside is juicy and delicious, on a Thanksgiving table, you don't like that? You only like it at hearts? On Thanksgiving, and you will uh, testify this is the truth, for me... It's bring your own roast beef, quite literally. And you claim to love this country. <laughs> I do. I'm questioning that. All right. Up